I am Sudhir and this is Richa. And in this video, we will walk you through how to handle subscription payments or recurring payments on your online platform. So if you are a merchant who has to collect recurring payments from a customer, keep watching. So Richa, let's start with the basics. What are these mandate payments? So mandates, otherwise known as standing instructions, are payments where customer give their consent to the issuing bank for debiting the amount in regular intervals from a specific payment method. So it's something like my Z5 subscription or a Hotstar subscription, is it? Yeah, exactly. So basically you go to their website or their application, do a one-time payment and also give your consent for registering yourself in mandates. So that amount can be debited in regular intervals. Now that interval can be weekly or monthly as you want. Right. So how exactly would JustPay help a merchant with that kind of business model here? So JustPay has integrated with all the major PGs that we have. Also, as you know, FinTech already has certain compliance. RBI has imposed certain compliance for mandate payments also. Compliance like notification has to be given to the user before debiting the recurring amount. Also, if the amount is greater than 15,000, an extra authentication step is required for debiting the recurring amount. So as a merchant, you need not worry about this compliance because JustPay as a payment aggregator has integrated products in such a way that we take care of all these complaints. Okay, that sounds interesting. So you mentioned about integration with multiple PGs or uh, is there any restriction in terms of what payment methods uh, JustPay supports for these mandate payments? JustPay supports integration with all the payment methods. For card, we have card mandates. For net banking, we have e-mandates and e-nash. For UPI, we have UPI autopay. Okay, this uh, sounds interesting, but how exactly would a merchant get started now for integrating their mandate payment journey with JustPay? So I'm assuming that uh, the merchant has gone through the basic integration architecture and also have configured the PGs that he wants for doing the mandate payments. Yeah, that's a fair assumption. And for anybody watching this video, I would first recommend you watch the basic architecture videos of JustPay and the basic videos on how to configure PGs on JustPay. You can find the link in description for those videos. Uh, so Richa, how would one get started now? So there are two major steps that you need to follow for taking mandates via JustPay. One is setting up certain flags in the PG control center. And second is integrating major APIs for mandate transactions. Then let's get started. Maybe we can start with the dashboard part first and then take people through the archi integration architecture as well. As discussed, there are two major steps for integrating mandates. Let's get started with the first one. That is setting up mandate flags in JustPay dashboard. For doing that, log in to the JustPay dashboard and navigate to PG Control Center. Click on the PG for which you need to enable mandates. Let's take example of PayU. You need to enable two things. One is the mandate flags and second is the payment methods for which you need mandates. For enabling the mandate flags, Click on Advanced Features, then click on Edit Advanced Features. If you need Card Mandates, enable the Card Mandates flag. If you need E-Mandates, click on Enable E-Mandate flag. Click on Proceed. Mandate flags have now been set. For enabling the payment methods, navigate to Configure Payment Methods section and click on Edit. Here, navigate to eMandates-enash. Click on the respective banks for which you want eMandates and eNash. Click on Proceed. You can see that e-mandates and e-nash payment methods have been enabled. 
Now click on finish. Following these two steps, you have now completed the dashboard configuration. Now let's get started with the second major step that is calling the mandates API. For calling the API, first let's understand the mandate architecture. On my screen, you can see a mandate integration architecture diagram. You can find this in JustPay's documentation, the link to which is attached in the description. You need to navigate to mandates and inside that mandate integration architecture. The whole flow of mandates is divided into two parts. One is mandate registration, where user provide their consent for setting up the mandate so that debit can happen. And they also do a one-time payment by doing the authorization. And second is mandate execution, where we will debit the amount from the customer's bank account for the recurring transactions. Let's understand step one, that is mandate registration in detail. When user is ready to do the payment, merchant needs to call the session API by passing the mandatory mandate parameters that are mandate start date, mandate end date, and mandate max amount. Once merchant calls the session API, it will hit JustPay servers and JustPay will create an order at their end and also give a payment link in response. User will attempt the payment and provide their consent for setting up the mandate. Once the transaction is completed, merchant needs to call the order status API to know the status of the order and also the status of the mandate. They can, JustPay will also send mandate and order related webhooks to the merchant. Now let's understand step two, that is mandate execution in detail. Mandate execution is the recurring transaction that will debit the amount from the customer's bank. For doing that, you need to call mandate execution API by passing all the mandatory parameters. Make sure that you initiate mandate execution API at least 25 hours prior to the actual debit. Once the mandate execution API is successfully initiated, JustPay will initiate the transaction to the underlying PG. Then bank will notify the user about the incoming debit. Based on the PG response, JustPay will trigger a notification webhook. If the notification is successful, user will get an SMS from the bank. If the notification is failure, JustPay will send out a notification failed webhook to the merchant that they need to consume and again try hitting the mandate execution API until a, we a successful webhook is received. Post the debit happens, merchant needs to call the order status API to check the order and the mandate execution status. JustPay will also send out order related webhooks to know the status. To know more in detail about the session API, you can navigate to the base integration and inside that session API. You can scroll down to know about the mandate related parameters for calling the session API. To know more about the mandate execution API, you can click on mandate execution API under the mandate section and you can pass all the required mandate parameters. Check out the order status API under base integration to know more about the order status API and under webhook section you can know more about the webhooks part. I hope with this you'll get started with your mandate integration.